Welcome to Veritunar Tuning Part 2. Let's go ahead and click this, get it going. You can always tip this and it spins around for you. I am going to resume a tuning I started before. I'm going to tap this to turn off the, uh, the reading, the measuring part, and then I'm going to go over to fine tuning just to let you see these partial targets. So here's our A4. This is where the central part of our tuning of any piano is going to be, what the first information that the Veritunar needs. You notice on the first partial that's zero, so A is going to be at 440. Now, these partial numbers, uh, remember you can always go look up how um, partials work. Quickly, the note that we hear, so say a C, and the note that we sing, boom, is the first partial fundamental. Jump up an octave is the second partial. Octave of fifth is third partial. Two octaves, we're at the fourth partial, and then they start getting closer together. You can look that up on the internet and get the, the connections to how they work. Back to A4. So, what happens with the Veritunar with many software is there are a lot of assumptions that need to be made, a lot of guesswork, especially at the early stages. So right now our tuning helper, here's our Veritunar, knows nothing about the piano. It doesn't know I have a keyboard in front of me or a nine foot or a little spinet. So it needs to gather information to help calculate a tuning that will fit that piano. So when we click this in, now we start collecting information. Notice how those numbers change there. Remember what they were before? So it's starting to gather information and it knows, okay, well this is what I know about this one string. I'll go farther into that before, uh, next videos on uh, how to best gather your information. So to set our tuning, Veritunar wants to know not only A4 but A3 to set this octave. The width of this octave is going to be the core of our tuning because, let's review for a second, what are we trying to do in tuning? We want to make notes clear. We don't really want them to sound like that. So each single note should have a clear tone, but then also octaves, single octaves, whoa, double octaves, triple octaves, should all appear to be pure-ish sounding. I'm not going to say exactly pure because then that gets into some details we'll get into much later. Um, so anyway, we're back to A4. And you'll notice the, it changed up here to read A4. A3 is going to be our next note. you'll watch the partial targets change and again we don't like to stay in fine-tuning mode because of the lock lock screen and how the tuning locks on us and we want it to adjust with each step of the way so let's go back to course and we find you know looking back at history when electronic tuning first was a thing they, they took a measurement of what an oral tuner did and then found out that, you know, when we go up high in the scale, we need to raise the pitch. When we go low in the scale, we need to lower the pitch so that these octaves sound apparently pure. Um, and then there were a lot of discussions about how to implement this using electronic tuning devices. The first, of course, was the easiest is let's just pre-program a bunch of curves in there and then you pick one and, and it gets closer you know each, each time we came up with uh, solutions it got a little closer to a really nice tuning and that's kind of what I'm about here is to help you help the machine get to a really close tuning best tuning possible for that piano using this electronic source that we have right now so again back to and you can read up in the manual how to do this a, A4 is our first, A3 is our second. Now most of the time we're going to be dealing with uh, pitch raising or pitch lowering. 
So you'd like to go down, it's usually somewhere around here or there, where the string break is, where we go from one bridge the crossover bass strings to just the plain wires, even if they're wound strings, it's the all the strings on a long bridge. We're going to start tuning down here. And remember, if this isn't filled, it's still guessing. So even though it's telling me where to put C3, and I'll go ahead and tune it to C3, or if we're going to use some overpull, we'll do that, it still really doesn't know all these notes in a central scale from A4 to A3. So some people, if a piano is really close, may want to sample all the notes in A, A3 to A4, because once we do that, A3, get all these sampled, the program is going to do the work of making sure that all our intervals in this section, you know, whether you're checking thirds, the progression, or fifths, um, that they're all in accordance with whatever you're trying to accomplish. Most people, honestly, are going to be working with equal temperament. Um, which has a chromatic progression to most of the intervals. So the, the Veritoner will come up with its solution for that A3 to A4 and then expand that solution out as we go sharper or flatter. You know, So from here, as we go down, it's going to have some solution. In fact, let's look at this right now. Remember our side swipes here? We're going to swipe over to Style and the built-in one because we're just using and the blue bubble over here is how you actually look at it and there's our average clean and expanded and again the blue bubble and now here right in the middle that A3, A4 4, 2 octave 0.32 beats wide of pure now what does that mean? remember our overtone series so from A3 a fourth partial one two, three, four, we're going to end up on A5. A4, second partial, again we end up, end up on A5. So we are comparing, or the Veritoner is actually comparing, A3 and A4 using the fourth partial and the second partial, which matches up at A5. And it's going to make this octave match a third of a beat wide. Well, you think, well, that's pretty random. Why, why is it a third of a beat wide? Um, again, we're aiming for a pure sounding octave as to whether it's pure on every one, any one level is up for some discussion and some experimenting later on as we try and match the piano even better than what the machine is programmed to do initially. Um, so let's go back to built-in, back to styles, back to cancel and we're back to our tuning screen and again we're going from the long bridge the base of the long bridge all the way up to c8 and then we turn around and start at the top of the base bridge and tune all the way down to a0 this is a pre-tuning pass we're using our over pull or under pull or if we're just first time meeting that piano we're trying to fill up see how my a3 isn't quite filled up the goal is to get that filled all the way, which is easier on a real piano, and we'll go there later. Get all those notes filled, so now it has the ability to reference back and forth to this A3, A4 octave when you're considering a D or a C. It can reference up to that octave by its electronic means to make a really good solid match for that. And that's all for today.